How's it going there everybody? So today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove your custom firmware completely off the Nintendo Switch and get it back to a clean state. Now, before I get started, there are a few things I need to mention. For one, if your Nintendo Switch is banned, this is not going to get it unbanned. Nothing you do will ever do that. Once it's banned, it's banned and there's nothing you can do. However, the application I'm going to be using today is called Haku 33. It runs off of your custom firmware and then completely factory resets everything on your Nintendo Switch. Now you may be thinking, why not just use a factory reset? Well, essentially that that doesn't completely clean out your Nintendo Switch. It actually does still leave some files on the Switch's hardware itself, which then Nintendo can see and eventually ban you. However, Haku 3.3 completely wipes out everything within your Switch and makes it as if you bought it brand new. So before I get started, if you're using an auto RCM, just make sure you go ahead and disable that first because when the factory reset does take place, your Switch is going to reset and of course it is going to boot back into RCM mode. You do not want that to happen because you do want to go through the first phase of setup with your Switch before you go ahead and do anything else. So make sure you disable that and then go ahead with this process here. All right, so just like every other video, you're gonna Want to go ahead and click on the first link in the description down below it's going to bring you to this github page here and then you're going to go ahead and make sure that you are selected on the latest release as of right now it's version 2.8 and then you're going to go ahead and download the nro file right here it's going to start an automatic download once that started downloaded and it's done just go ahead and drag that to the desktop so it's easier to work with now what you need to do is take your micro sd card out of the nintendo switch and pop it back into your computer so once that's gone ahead and popped up you're going to want to go ahead and open up the switch folder and then drag that haku 33.nro into the switch folder that's pretty much it now we're going to go ahead and take the sd card back out of our computer put it back into the switch and then we're going to boot into our custom firmware all right so once we're on the switch what we're going to need to do is just go to the whole brew menu and then we should have that haku 33 file on there just go ahead and select that your console will be completely clean saves games everything on the switch will be completely erased the hard reset will be performed after the console will be turned off if you do not know what you are doing and you do not want to continue, press B to abort now. Now, if you want to continue to go on with this, all you have to do is press the two trigger buttons as well as the minus and plus button. And it's going to highlight when you do have those selected. So once you've gone ahead and pressed all four buttons, you're going to get a chain of notifications like this. The switch is then going to turn off and it's going to be completely factory reset. Now your switch should turn off and then turn back on by itself. If it doesn't, give it about two minutes and then press the power button and it should turn on. However, if you had auto RCM turned on and you forgot to turn that off, then it is going to boot into that instead of your system firmware. If that's the case, then you can actually go ahead and boot into Hikate through Tiger RCM, turn that off, and then you go ahead and turn the switch off and then boot back into your system firmware this will not give you any traces of a custom firmware because you never technically booted into one hikate is safe to use and it won't affect your switch so once that's gone ahead and done that you can go and turn your switch on so mine as you see there it's completely factory reset i have to go through the entire process again and it's essentially like you bought a brand new switch your system firmware should now be completely clean of any custom firmware and if you want you can go ahead and make a NAND backup of your switch and then go ahead and use something like an EMU MMC. I highly recommend that you do that and like I mentioned before if your switch was already banned then there's nothing you can do you can't unban your switch. That's pretty much it for today guys thank you so much for watching if this video helped you out then you know what to do hit the thumbs up button if you happen to have any comments leave them in the comment section down below and I'll see you on the next one.